Hello to the nation, Dr. PlayStation Nation here, Teddy, as over a little bit of a healthy Twitch episode. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to do the thing that you guys see in the bottom left-hand corner that just faded away. Hopefully, you guys are having a great day. I'm Dr. PlayStation, and this is going to be showing you guys how to do pop-ins in either your YouTube videos, if you guys choose to use OBS to record, or how to do pop-ins on your Twitch streams. That's something that I've been getting asked. People seem to not really know how I do the pop-ins that I do. So the pop-ins being, again, these things that will pop in every uh, few minutes or so and you know at seemingly random and you know show you guys something in uh so you show you guys something interesting like you know tell you guys to make sure that you follow do you know do you need help do exclamation mark help do exclamation mark music exclamation mark tweet all that sort of stuff some people don't know how i do it so i'm going to show you guys how to actually go about doing this all you guys need to do uh, is actually uh, get Photoshop. So if you guys don't have Photoshop, get something like that, a photo editing software, maybe GIMP will work, GIMP will work if you guys, something that basically will be allow you to save a PNG. That's all you guys really need and allow you to put text on it. In this case, you know, I have this guy here, you know, this is one of the new ones that I've been working on. You know, I want to change sort of the color scheme up a little bit, make it a little bit more uh, like my, my new color scheme. So if I were to go about changing this, I want to actually reduce the saturation and increase the lightness here just so it's more of a white color or like a slight off-white yeah kind of like that uh, and then we're gonna you know decrease the opacity anyway you guys get the deal you guys are going to want to do something along these lines you know I can also do something like this and you know decrease the lightness to make it a little bit darker but uh, you guys are going to want to make something like this something that you know is identifiable fits your brand fits your overlays and whatnot so you guys can go check out my overlays video in the how to twitch playlist with many other how to twitch videos so you guys can go check those out but anyway one once you make something that you're happy with, you guys are going to want to do Control Shift Alt S. Once you guys do Control Shift Alt S, it'll open up this guy. You guys can also just go to File, Save for Web. It'll open up the exact same thing. You guys are going to want to save it as a PNG 24, not a PNG 8, not a JPEG, not a GIF, not a Windows bitmap. You guys are going to want a PNG 24 with the transparency checked. Uh, once you guys do that, you guys are going to want to save it, and you're going to want to save it in a particular folder. You guys get to pick any folder that you want. Just make sure you guys save it, and then, you know, go into here, and then, you know, you guys can go through and change the text to whatever you guys want. You guys can change it to tell people to follow, to tell people to go check out your Twitter, whatever you guys want. Uh, so once you guys do all of that, you guys are going to save all of your various things, and it will look something like this. You guys will have, you know, all of these different uh, things that you guys have. So this is my old style for my pop-ins, so I'm going to have to update all these but anyway you guys are gonna have all these different pop-ins and you guys can have you know an infinite amount of pop-ins really if you want or you know, a very high number I guess not infinite and then once you guys have all those things one thing that you guys will need that I didn't mention yet is you will also need a blank pop-in so you guys will need to just make something that's blank like just a blank layer like this control shift alt s and then save a blank I know it sounds silly but you just need to save one blank at the very least. So when you guys save this, uh, you know, we're going to navigate to my recording drive. We're going to navigate to uh, Twitch Media. We, and then we are going to save it inside this folder labeled blank. So uh, right here, we already have blank text. We already have 12 of them, actually. So you guys only need to save it once and then copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste to make a bunch of them. So once you guys do that, you guys will need, you know, a bunch of these blank texts. It'll make it a lot easier. So anyway, now that we've ha now that we have all our media, so you guys have all your blank text and you have all of your real notifications so you guys will need those two things you'll need your blanks and you'll need your notifications so once that is complete you guys are going to want to uh, create a global source so you guys want to go to global source and add one and it's going to be an image slideshow uh, so I, some of you guys are probably seeing where this is going. So anyway, the reason why you want to make this a global source is because if you don't, you will need to redo this long process every single time you want to create, you want to add this to a new scene. And as you guys saw, you guys just saw another one pop in in the bottom. That is because I have mine appear every four minutes. Uh, and we are now four minutes into this video. So anyway, uh, this is going to be called, you know, pop in... Uh, test like so so pop in test you guys are going to uncheck fade in only so it's going to both fade in and out and you guys are going to set your interval at whatever interval you guys would like i like mine at 10 seconds just because you know it makes it pretty good it fades in for a decent amount of time fades back out and uh you know it looks nice and all you guys need to do is you guys are going to add and you guys are going to add a notification that you guys want so follow text boom we added that then we are going to go to our blank media 
and then we are going to select all of them like so and open and it's going to select all of them and uh, you know for if for the for the sake of this tutorial we are actually going to not add all of them but for every blank that you add that is going to be a 10 second delay before you guys see the next one so as you guys can see in this I'm going to remove all of them except for one uh, you know which is going to leave a 10 second delay here from there we are going to want to add go back to our notifications and we're going to want to add a help text then we're going to add we're going to go over to uh, blanks and then we're going to add another blank and you guys can make this a little bit easier on yourself um, by when you go to add go to your notifications and you can actually select all of them so we already added these two so we don't need that so if we add those and then we go back to add and then we're going to go to blanks and then we're going to add three more blanks you know you guys would want to add varying amounts and then you just simply move these guys um, up and down to space out the ones that you guys have left so you know move this up and there you go and you want to make sure that uh, it ends so for each of these guys basically you're going to want to space out these guys so, so, so for instance when I do mine because I want them four minutes apart each of these blanks is going to take up 10 seconds so you guys are going to want to have 24 of those because you know, two minutes is comprised of 240 seconds, or sorry, four minutes is comprised of 240 seconds, so you guys are going to want 24 of these blank text objects in a row, so you're going to want follow text, 24 blank texts, then help text. Then you're going to want 24 blanks again, then donate text, 24 blanks again, and then, you know, you're, you're, uh, 24 blank text again, then your music text, and then 24 blanks again, your share text, and then finally, you always want to end with another 24 blank texts, or however many that you guys want. So if you guys change this to 5 seconds, you know, you guys are going to need to multiply by 24, or you guys are going to need to multiply by 12 for only 1 minute. So th that'll be 48 for 4 minutes, and so on and so forth. I'm sure you guys can figure out the math on that one. Uh, so anyway, now that we've completed it, we're just going to hit OK, right? So that, that is added pop-in test. To, to there and all we get, all we need to do is go add global source and pop in test so once we add that it's going to pop up there you know we can edit the scene by dragging this around and all that sort of stuff you guys are gonna see it you know appearing across the actual screen right now but as you guys can see if we you know stop editing the scene it's going to go away and if we were to wait 10 seconds so I'm just going to kind of burn time right now you guys are going to see the next one's going to pop in and is going to be the help text and then after that I believe it's gonna be the music text and then that one is the share text and then after that it's uh, something else the donate text or something similar so anyway that is pretty much the way that it's going to work and you know you guys can increase the amount of time or decrease the amount of time between them you guys can you know randomize them if you want a lot of people ask you know why don't you use the randomize and that's simply because if you use the randomize there is a chance that you will get back-to-back -back notifications which is something that I didn't want uh, you guys can also disable fading if you want them to kind of pop in pop out that sort of deal as you guys can see another one is again there but uh, yeah that's pretty much it guys that was a really short one short and sweet if you guys want to see some more how to twitch videos make sure you guys click the lick uh, clink the uh, click the link in the description or check out the uh, annotation on screen so as you guys can see both musics kind of synced up there but uh, anyway and if you guys want to see this one actually I'll show you guys the properties here so as you guys can see um, you know we're gonna move that one up it's gonna start with follow then you're going to have two sets of 12 uh, or actually three four sets of 12 oh yeah because I have these ones for five seconds sorry I got it wrong I have only have it for five seconds so I'm going to have to have 48 then another help then you know 48 more and then another one and then 48 more and then another one and so on and so forth but uh, anyway that is basically how it works so if you guys want to see any more make sure you guys click the annotation on the screen subscribe to join the nation if you subscribe to join the nation I cannot talk if you already haven't but uh, anyway guys Hopefully you did enjoy. I'm the doctor, and I am out. Bye.